What's good everybody, Jeremiah, back again with another video. Uh, recently, uh, for my birthday, I picked up this Orange Crush 20RT. So this is the one with reverb. It's a little 20 watt solid state amp. And I decided it would be really cool to be able to um, get some bigger sounds out of it by adding um, a external speaker jack to it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna add this switched mono jack to this combo amp, and then we'll be able to hook up this amp to any eight ohm cab and uh, get way more use out of this amplifier. So uh, right now what we're gonna do is drill out the hole for the jack and uh, get that ready to be installed and we'll move on to the next step. All right, everyone be safe. I'm not responsible for you hurting yourselves with power tools. Though I am responsible for hurting myself, so I'm gonna to try to be careful here. I think that's pretty close. Let's check our fit. Well, it needs to be reined out just a little more. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I just don't want to overdo it. And there we go. Perfect. So now we'll be able to go ahead and mount this and I'll show you the wiring. It's real simple and uh, then we'll give it a test. All right, so we went ahead and mounted the jack here. So the breakdown on this goes, this is ground, that's the middle one is the tip, and then this is the switched. So um, I'll show you how to wire this up in just a moment. Okay, finally. So <clears throat> this is the speaker out from the board or for the amp and what I've done is I've snipped the hot lead and that's gonna go to the middle lug which is the tip of this uh, switched mono jack and you can see from the side here if it'll focus there is this switch right here so when, it, when you plug a uh, cable in, it will disconnect that. But when there isn't a cable, it will be connected, and it's going to connect this terminal and this terminal. So that's how we're going to connect to the internal speaker when uh, we're not using the uh, speaker out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solder this hot wire to the center here which goes to the tip of this that's going to be our first connection and then we're going to connect a piece of speaker cable here or speaker wire uh, we're going to put this in this lug and this is going to actually connect to the internal speaker and then all we have to do is ground this terminal which i can probably just put it over here or Really, the whole case is ground, and the way this switch is set up is this whole bottom piece is actually metal on metal contact. So really, I probably don't even need to connect that. Okay, so... There we go. It's all wired up, and I'm going to put it back together. Okay, so we've put it back together. Um, and if you guys were wondering, all you got to do to open this one up is take this. This is what holds in the amp, really, is this, uh, these two screws. And then there's four screws on the back, and you just pull it right out. So what we've done is we've hooked up the looper, because I only have two hands. And um, we're going to show you with the mic on the phone here uh, what the difference is between the cabinet 
and when I plug it into my 2x12. So, without further ado, let's turn it on. All right, and... Uh, So not bad at all, you know, like this little eight inch speaker actually sounds really great. But if you want to get the most out of it, plug it into a bigger cabinet. So we're going to take and see if I can do this one handed here. Uh, all right. Now you can hear it. It's already coming through. As you can tell, there's of course gonna be a lot more low end coming from two 12 inch speakers versus an eight inch speaker. But, you know, like this could actually be a little practice amp for a band if you did something like this. If you had like, uh, you know, a two by 12 or four by 12, um, get one of these used somewhere, you know, and throw this mod on it and you're, you're dooming for not a lot of money. So there we go. What do you guys think? I think this was a pretty cool mod. I think it was totally worth the uh, time and money I put into it. And now I have a, another 20 watt orange amp at my disposal that I can make rockin' tunes with. Um, I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Take care of each other. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.